let's talk about some girl power. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Welcome! So first off, apologies if my voice sounds a little bit raspy or a little bit different. I'm just coming off the back of a teensy cold, and don't come at me, it's not coronavirus, we're good over here. Um, but I didn't want to let that delay me from creating this video. I am super passionate about this topic. So today I'm going to be covering my top three favorite beauty brands and top three favorite hair care brands that are female owned. As you know, March is International Women's Month, so I kind of just wanted to do it as my ode to the women out there doing the damn thing. My celebration of us just killing the game in 2020. Now I know the ownership thing can get a little gray area sometimes, but I'm basically choosing companies that have female CEOs and CEOs that are like involved in the company and companies that I just genuinely love and that you can just look at from miles away and tell that it's female centered and it's by females for females. You know what I mean? Like you can just feel the girl power vibes. So I'm actually gonna be getting more in depth about these actual companies and their values and the way that they market themselves. So more than just talking about their actual products. Before we get started today, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Just go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And you will also get a notification every time a new video drops. So you won't have to worry about missing any content, which is awesome. All right, so this is gonna be a fun one. Let's go ahead and get started. So first, we gotta get the big and the bad out of the way, and that's Fenty Beauty. As a Caribbean girl myself, Riri, I love you. I love you. Rihanna has come in and changed the entire game with Fenty, and I love every bit of it. So technically, when you go on and do a little bit of research, you see that Fenty Beauty actually falls under Louis Vuitton. So basically, she partnered with the CEO of LVMH to create her company, and that's how it's run. But to me, I personally still consider Fenty Beauty to be female-owned because Rihanna is so heavily present in every single aspect of the business. So it goes without saying, Fenty products are quality. They are so bomb. I'm actually wearing one of her lipsticks right now and I am obsessed with the products, but further than that, the company, ever since it was launched, has always been about diversity and inclusivity, and that is something that I am here for 100%. I just look at Riri and think like, she's an icon herself, and then just created an iconic brand. She has just killed the freaking game. She's everything, she's goals, and I just love all things Fenty. All right, the second makeup brand that I want to talk about is Beauty Bakery, which was founded by Cashmere Nicole. She has a really interesting and unique story. She is actually a cancer survivor. It was actually through her struggle with cancer that she just said, you know what, I'm not sitting down and taking this. I'm fighting, I'm standing up, and then boom, she created Beauty Bakery, and the rest is history. So Beauty Bakery is the cutest, most unique makeup brand. It's just so cute. Everything about the brand is kind of centered around baking. Um, so anything that has to do with cooking, baking, or whatever, that's the way they name their products, and it's just super cute, and I love it. I also love the fact that it was very centered towards black women. As a black woman myself, I'm of course like 100% here for that. She really focused on creating complexion products as well as lip products that have shades that are beautiful on darker skinned women, and they are gorgeous, okay? If you haven't tried Beauty Bakery, go ahead and try it out now. I don't know what you're waiting for, but this is another one of my favorite makeup brands. So technically, I believe the parent company of Beauty Bakery is Unilever, but Cashmere Nicole is still very, very involved with the business, and you can tell. So I personally just still consider this as female-owned. All right, and then for my third, last but not least, favorite makeup company is the Lip Bar. Now, I met Melissa last year, was it last year? Or two years ago at Essence Festival, and she is such a sweetheart. I absolutely love this girl. And her company that she's built from nothing into what it is today, selling in Target stores, her story is so incredibly inspirational. She's actually featured on Netflix. There's a documentary on there called She Did That. If you are an entrepreneur, an aspiring entrepreneur, aspiring businesswoman, or if you just like to learn about some black girl magic, 
go ahead on Netflix and watch She Did That. It is so awesome and you'll learn a little bit more about Melissa's story on there. Basically, she created the lip bar to challenge beauty standards and she's continuing to do that. You'll see in the documentary that she went on Shark Tank and they completely were just like, no, people aren't gonna want these lipstick shades. The big companies would have done these shades if they were gonna be successful, blah, blah, blah. But she was like, you know what, forget y'all. I'm gonna do it on my own and I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna keep my nice bright shades. And she did that. She and her business have just completely grown and I just love sitting back and just watching her do it without their help like it's just it's so so inspiring she's out here showing that bright and eccentric colors still look beautiful on the everyday woman all right so now on to the hair care brands so firstly i want to talk about camille rose that is a brand that i truly have always loved their products from the very beginning of my natural hair journey like their products do so well for such a wide variety of hair types and when I did more research on the brand, I found that they are so focused on using healthy ingredients, less toxic ingredients, and more natural ingredients in their products to ensure that your curls are going to not only look good, but stay healthy. And that to me is like, y'all already know, that's what I'm all about. So Camille Rose is run by Janelle Stevens who actually started out just by doing skincare. She looked around one day and realized that all of the ingredients and in all of the products that we use, our skincare, our makeup, our hair care, are toxic. If you sit down and Google it, you will be horrified. The amount of toxic ingredients that are allowed to be sold to all these consumers is actually really alarming. But that's why I resonated so well with her story because she noticed the same thing and then wanted to do something about it. So that's how she created Camille Rose and she has stuck true to her word. She has stayed true to her initial purpose and I just really, really love the company values and then the fact that her products are so focused on being so healthy but then also so effective like it's just I love that so so much I just love 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 to see a brand who is not only interested in the way that their products work but how their products will also affect the health of their consumers in the long term you know that you can trust any Camille Rose products that come out and it's great Next up, I want to talk about Curls. Curls is founded by Mahisha Dellinger. So I've actually met with and spoke with Mahisha in person and I just love her story. She's kind of the rags to riches kind of story where she's just built herself up. She's been through so many hardships in her youth and to see how she's just completely turned her life around and built herself into a successful businesswoman is again just such an inspiration to me and every other female out there who has their own struggles. I also have a very special place in my heart for curls. Um, a few years ago, they had a trip that they were doing with their brand influencers and at the time I was really just beginning in the influencer space and I don't know I maybe had about like 4,000 um, followers on Instagram and that's it but anyways they put out word that they're doing this trip with all their influencers and that people could apply and two people would win spots to be able to join them on that trip and they picked me and it was like really life-changing for me like that was a huge pivotal moment in my influencing career I got to meet some amazing influencers that I'm still in touch with today so I just honestly have a super special place in my heart for them they are also a brand that I have also used since the very beginning of my natural hair journey so if you go back to some of my earlier YouTube videos you'll see that I was using their blueberry bliss products a lot and I still use them today even though my curls have continued to change throughout my journey you know as your hair grows your curls continue to change but their products have always worked with my curls and just knowing Mahisha who's standing behind the brand again is just incredible all right and then last but not least i'm going to talk about brio geo i honestly never know how to pronounce this word is it brio geo is it brio geo like i don't know where the emphasis is supposed to lie but i'm just gonna go ahead and swing it so nancy twine is the founder and ceo of brio geo and the thing that resonates with me the most about this brand similarly to the last two brands that i spoke about is that they are super super invested in the type of ingredients that they use. So on all of their products, they are focused on like no sulfates, no silicones, which is a huge one for me. 
um, no parabens and all of those nasty ingredients like they never include them in their products I am here for it I just love a brand that just makes it easy for you to trust them easy for you to know that whatever they come out with you can trust that the ingredients are not gonna be damaging to your curls now whether or not it's gonna work well with your curls is a whole nother story because you know curls can be very temperamental but at the end of the day what's most important is healthy ingredients so you know that you can go ahead and try their products without having to stress or worry about the actual ingredients in them so I actually haven't met Nancy Twine or spoken to her personally but I did some research and learned a little bit about her story and I just love it I love it so she was actually a 27 year old vice president at Goldman Sachs like let that sink in that's what 27 so she was already kind of at the top of her career doing her little financial thing and she found out that that was not fulfilling her as a woman like they just it was great she was making the money she was successful by society standards but she just wasn't fulfilled by what she did and that is kind of what led her into the path of creating Brio Geo. I love that story I think that's great so yeah, those are my top six favorite female-owned brands at the moment. I love them and I feel, just by filming this video, I'm feeling super inspired and empowered and I hope you feel the same as well. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up as always. And if you didn't subscribe in the beginning, you have one more chance to do so now. And while you're doing that, two more videos right here for you to check out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.